Good morning, everyone. Can everyone give me a thumbs up if you can see me? A few people still connecting to audio. Yep, thumbs up. Everyone can hear me okay. Good to see you guys. Excellent to see you guys this morning. We're going to get into it pretty quickly here. So I sent an email out last night. We're going to be going through the uh, mostly the under 12s and under 14s strength and conditioning program that is available on our website um, under the Franks and Blues, under the Junior Blues area, you'll see a strength and conditioning drop down. So we're going through the speed and power session this morning. So we are literally going to get up and go. We're going to be jumping around a little bit. Um, there's going to be a little bit of movement. We'll do a quick warm up. So guys, make sure you have um, a drink bottle nearby. Okay, we don't want to be stopping and, and moving around too much to drink. Uh, if you've got a mini band, little resistance band, please go and grab that now. We're going to use that as a part of our warm up, but I'll have alternatives if you don't have a band. Uh, and that's about it. The rest is going to be body weight, uh, acceleration, deceleration, you know, sort of jumping, landing technique, and those sort of things. So we'll get going here uh, with our warm up, which is going to be um, our crab walks with mini bands. Okay, so we're going to do crab walks with our mini bands. So grab your mini bands, I'll move back here. camera up slightly. So we've got the mini band around mini band around our ankles. Tuck it around your ankles. And we're just doing 10 steps. If you don't have space, you don't have to do all 10. But we're getting down in a nice athletic stance here. Okay, so my knees are bent, my glutes are activated, I'm in an athletic position. And I'm just gonna, we'll probably go five, okay? So I can stay in camera. So I'm gonna go five to my right. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna go five back to my left here. One, two, three, four, five, okay? So we're gonna do 10 total. So you can stand up a little bit if you want, shake it out in between those five. Back down low, knees bent. I can see a few of you don't have your knees bent. Okay, you're not sitting back on that chair. Bend your knees, sit down nice and low, arms wide, five to our right, five back to our left, okay? Excellent, good job. All right, great. All we might do is I'm just gonna add one more mini band activation exercise. If you don't have a band, just follow these exercises without the band, okay? Really simple. So if you, if you don't have the band, you're still down in that defensive sort of stance, your glutes are still activated, we're still warming up our knees, ankles and hips, and we're just moving side to side. Now we've got the band around our knees, okay? So we've got it up above our knees, okay? So I'll move a bit closer to the camera here. So you can see the band is just above my knee. It's resting on the bottom of my quads there. If you don't have the band, that's okay. I'll, I'll give you an example of what we can do here. It's just a little bit of a glute burner to make sure we're warming up those muscles of our hip. So again, we've got, if you don't have the band, hands on the side of your knees, and we're just pushing our knees out against that band. Okay, so just spreading our knees out like that. And we're gonna do that 10 times. That's it. So again, you're not, you're, not, you're not moving out to the side of your feet. We're not rolling out. We're not, we're not moving our ankles or feet at all. Our feet are staying pressed into the ground. And we're just driving our knees apart, which gives us that glute activation, that glute knee activation, which is really important. So don't let your knees come together either. I can see a few of you. Knees are touching, almost knocking together. We don't want that either, okay? So the whole time we want our glutes activated, not letting our knees knock together. That's that movement we're looking to avoid. All right, bands off. Acceleration, deceleration is our first exercise. So you'll need about two or three meters of space here, okay? So not a great deal, but just enough, um, just enough to sort of do a quick takeoff and then a quick sort of a slow down, almost like a close out. So think like a close out, okay? So I'm gonna start at the edge of the camera here. I'm just gonna make an, an approach, a couple of steps. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a couple of sets of these. Um, all right, so we're gonna do probably two sets of five. So watching me, this is what it's gonna look like. So I'm just gonna take a couple of steps and slow, okay? So I'm taking a couple of quick steps. So I back pedal, then I 
sprint. And I'm just coming to a quick stop, almost like a stutter step type of a close out, okay? So I'm pushing off and I'm coming to as quick a stop as I can down in that athletic stance, okay? I want you to do that five times. Good, good. So we're pushing off. Good guys, I'm gonna come to the screen and watch. Excellent, Zach, good job. Good job, Cody, Toby, awesome. Great job, guys. Keep an eye on you guys here. If you don't have a lot of space, you can still do this. Just take one or two steps. Just float out as far as you can and come to that, like you're making a close out. You can even throw your hands up if you want. Once you've done five, have a quick break, like I just did then, and we're gonna do another five. So we wanna to get to 10 total for this. So this is again, acceleration, deceleration technique. So I can't see everyone at once here, but I don't wanna see this. I don't wanna see you pushing off and then just standing up straight and stopping like this, okay? We know that's not gonna work in a game, we need to get our center of gravity down nice and low. So I start low here, I push off, and I come back down, okay? And I finish in that squat position. So stay low, I finish in that squat position. If you feel your momentum carrying you forward too much, if you're gonna take off here and sort of stop like that, okay? That shows me that you need to get lower. You come to that pitter patter, that stop. You could even throw your hands up like a close out. Okay, it's up to you. Once you've done five, we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Good job. Have a quick rest. If you need a break, don't sit down, okay? Don't sit down throughout these sessions. All right, it's get up and go. So we're gonna keep moving pretty quickly. Good read. Good close out read. Excellent, guys. All right, once you've done your second set of five, we're gonna do a drop landing, okay? So we're gonna do a, like a, we usually be doing this off a box or a couch. If you're still doing your, your acceleration, deceleration, don't rush, just keep going, but just listen to me while I talk through this next exercise. So we've got a, a, a drop landing, okay? I'm gonna show you how that works from side on. So all we're doing is, because we, we may not have a box or anything to jump off, a lot of us are inside, I don't have anything here, which is okay. We're essentially gonna come up onto our tippy toes Okay, so we're gonna come up onto both feet, up onto our tippy toes, and then when we drop down, we're just gonna drop straight into that athletic squat position, okay? So I'll show you guys from the, from the front on again. So I'm gonna be up on my tippy toes, and I come from that top position into a soft landing, okay? Remember what Jay taught us about landing like you're riding on a motorbike, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do three, we're gonna do Three of those, okay, so come up onto your toes. Everyone can do this one together with me. So you come up onto your tippy toes as high as you can, and then come quickly down like you've landed from a jump, okay? So you're almost gonna get a little bit of air there. You're not jumping, you're coming up to your tippy toes, and then you just coming down into that landing position. All right, sitting right back in your imaginary chair, Getting down into that athletic stance. Nice soft landing. Good, good, Zach. Good job. All the way up on your tippy toes. That's perfect, mate. Good job. Good, Cody. Well done. Good, Tate. Good. Tate and Scout. Awesome. Cam, good to see you again, Cam. Ava, awesome to see you. Good job, guys. Big Jesse, your legend. Good job, mate. Good landing. Good job, Reed. Awesome, Dave, well done. Good job, guys. Good job, make sure you're not landing on your toes. So once you've done three, quick break, and then I'm gonna do the second set of three. I see a few of you are landing on your toes. So just watching me for a second. Remember when we land, we, we can land, again, it's usually sort of heels or midfoot first and we rock forward onto our toes. Um, we had this sort of issue um, with our session a couple of weeks ago on the Thursday, where people were trying to do our ninja landings really softly and they think, Oh, if I want to be quiet, I need to be tippy toeing. So they jump and they land on their tippy toes. That's not what we want necessarily. Okay, it needs to be a nice smooth landing. That's how our foot's ergonomically designed is to, is to embrace that impact. So when you're doing this, you're up on your tippy toes, so you're not landing on your tippy toes like that. Okay, you're going to fall backwards like I just did. So you are landing 
sort of on your midfoot and rocking sort of back or forward into your, into your toes, depending on how you land, okay? Good job. Let's do our second set of three. Let's get through these really quickly. Keep moving on. So we're up onto our tippy toes and we're down into that landing, okay? I came forward a little bit too far then, so I need to readjust. So again, up onto our tippy toes, down into that nice soft landing. Back is nice and straight. If you're having any issues, you can see me nice and side on. You can see I, I keep my back straight in that squat landing. I don't come down too low. Okay, I'm just, I'm just here. Knees are bent at about a sort of 45, 30, 30 degree angle. All right. We should be relatively warm now. Keep going if you're still doing your second set of three of those. We're going to do our squat jump. Okay, so we're really going to get moving a little bit now. Uh, we're going to do two sets of five squat jumps. All right, so really quickly, if we've got any new uh, participants today, we're gonna go through just the technique of a squat really, really quickly. So straight on, feet are about hip distance apart. Okay, so you can use your camera for feedback. You can watch me, hip, shoulder distance apart. We don't wanna go too wide, okay? And we don't wanna go too narrow here. All right, so you should have roughly about if you were to put your foot sideways like that, okay, that's about the distance we want, okay? We're bending our knees, so side on, we're bending our knees and our hips simultaneously, okay? So we're sitting our hips back, we're keeping our chest pointing forward as much as possible. We don't want to come down at this angle here. Keeping our chest pointing forward, trying to keep our back straight, like we're, like we're sitting in an imaginary chair, all right? With the squat jump, same thing, we're just speeding it up and obviously we're gonna take off, okay? So we're gonna jump. So we're coming down into that squat, so we're swinging our arms back and then we'll squat jump up, okay? We're gonna do five of those, all right? Here we go, two sets of five, squat jump. I'll go side on and then I'll do my second set front on. Here we go for five. So swing arms back and explode up, that's one. Swing arms back, explode up, there's two. Let's go for five. Arm back, explode up, three. Arms up, swing back, explode up, there's four. Arm start up, swing back, explode up, there's five. Awesome. Once you've done five, quick breather, 10 seconds or so, and we're into our second set. If you've already done your first set, you can start your second set and then have a break after your second set. So for the 16s, 18s in this group, the speed and power portion of your program that's on the website is slightly different. We'll get to that in a second. We're not going to do that today in this session, but I'll show you guys how you can do that away from this session, okay? So we've done our squat jump. Let's do our second set. Second set of five. So we're here. I'm going to go front on. Okay, so you can see I've got that nice balance, that nice strong base, okay? I'm down and I'm exploding up and I'm trying to land. Remember our ninja landing. So don't land on your toes. Land and rock back into your heels or land in your midfoot and rock forward onto your toes. <coughs> so we're here. Up. Sit down in that imaginary chair. If you've done your two sets of five uh, squat jumps, the next one we've got is a broad jump. Okay. If you're still doing your squat jumps, keep going. Everyone's working a bit of a different pace, which is okay. Good job, Zach. Get your feet a little closer together there. So a broad jump is the same thing, essentially. We use the same technique, but instead of jumping up in the air, we're actually jumping forward, okay? So it's like a, it's like a frog jump, almost like a frog jump. So I'll show you guys. I'll step back a little bit, and I'll show you guys our broad jump. We're going to do two sets of these, two sets of five. So what it means is, instead of swinging here and going up towards the roof, I'm gonna go out that way, all right? And I still need to stick that landing. So I'm here, I swing through, and then I jump out. All right, that's a broad jump, okay? So we're jumping forward. So you're gonna need a couple of meters of space again. I want you to try and stick the landing. So Cody, I could see then you sort of jumped, landed, and had to take, take a couple of steps. That's okay in the first instance. Zach, you just did the same thing but I want you to be able to stick the landing and almost count to two before you have to step outside of your, uh, outside of your plane of movement. So 
if I jump, one, two. And then I step back and I go again. Let's go for five, guys. One, two. So it's all about getting that center of gravity over your feet and holding it there so you don't fall forward. So it's all about sitting back down into that, into that squat, that athletic position. Good job, Esther's brothers, killing it. Good job, Talia. Awesome. Good job, Ava. Really good. Good, Sarah. Awesome to see so many people this morning, guys. Great stuff. It's going to get you, uh, give you a great start to your day, get the blood flowing, get a workout in. There's no better feeling than getting a workout in before you go to school or before you go to work. Good job. All right, second set. If you're still going, keep going. Make sure you have a sort of a 10, 15 second break. Get a drink if you need it. All right, second set of broad jumps. So again, this is a really hip dominant movement. I mean, any jumping movement is, but it's so important. We, we derive so much of our power from a jumping and sprinting from our hips and our glutes. So I really want you guys to start to get the arm movement as well. So you sort of start with arms high, wing arms back, and then swing them forward. Okay, and it's almost like what we talked about with sprint technique. Our arms almost serve as like a, they almost like lead our lower body. So if we swing our arms forward, it's going to help propel us better. It's just really good jump technique. Let's go. Five broad jumps. Here we go. Five. Five here. We've got two more exercises to go. We've got to cool down. So again, this isn't going to be a big huff and puff session. It's not going to be a massive. Oh, that wasn't a good one. Sally. It's not going to be a big cardio session. Okay. You get a little sweat up, especially if you're inside like me and you've got the heater on. Okay. That's, you know... The, 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 the sweaty, getting your heart rate right up, that's going to be more the hoop fit session with Cassie and Abby. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go into a, a little bit more the finer technique of speed and power on a Monday morning, get up and go, and then our, uh, our strength program on the Thursday evening. So if you've done the five board jump, great stuff. If not, keep going. Now, you guys should be really familiar with this exercise. This is a skater jump, okay? This is the skater jump, so it's side to side movement. The difference is we're going to do it at about a 45 degree angle. All right, we're going to go 45 degrees. Um, if you don't have 45 degrees, if you're doing this in your lounge room or kitchen, side to side is fine. So I'll give you both options and I'll, I'll demonstrate. Um, so here we are, our skater jump. So I'm going to start on my left foot, okay, and I'm sort of sitting back and I'm exploding out. To my right okay but i want to stick that landing okay i know you guys are sick of hearing me say this but it's a skater jump with a stick landing or a lateral jump with a stick landing okay what we might do today is we'll do we'll do two sets because we've got a little bit of time up our sleeve we'll do two sets with the landing okay so three on either leg so we're going to push out here and land on our right leg, that's one. Then just walk back, just walk back, don't jump back, then go left leg again. Back and stick. Three on either leg, left and right. We'll do two sets like that, and then we'll do a set where we go continuously. Okay, so let's work through that now. I can see everyone doing that. That's good. Make sure we stick that landing. I can see a few upright bodies, okay? What I mean by that is if you watch me here and I jump at the camera side on, a lot of you are like very upright, okay? Very, almost like a, just a soft knee bend, okay? Or let me do to my right here. Almost like you're standing up straight still. Get down in that position here. Get down nice and low. I know it's single leg and balance of this is tough. It is a tough movement to get the balance of. But trust me, if you're able to get this right in practice in sessions like this, um, you, you, you're making yourself almost bulletproof once we get back on the court. Really, really good movement to be able to do properly. All right, so make sure you stick that landing, hold that landing for a second. I know it's not as fun as just bouncing back and forth. Just stick that landing. If you've done three on each leg, so three to your right, three to your left, let's do, let's do our second set. Toby, I can see you there patiently waiting in the pantry, mate. <laughs> do your second set. Good stuff. Good job, can you see that? Awesome stuff. Good job, Owen, get down nice and low, Owen. That's good, that's good. Get that balance, stick that landing. Good job, Charlie. Second set, awesome, guys. 
Lucas, good to see you in here too, mate. Good to have some of our older athletes setting an example for our younger athletes as well. Jesse Land, fantastic to see you in here, mate. Well done. Okay, so I'm going to do my second set now. All right, I'm pushing out. Kick that landing, okay? If you're having trouble with the landing, get lower, okay, and focus on a dot on the ground. Focus on a, a piece of dirt. Focus on a mark on the back of the couch. Focus on your dog, you know, ears, whatever, whatever, something that's not moving. Jump out, and focus on a point. I, I'm finding a speck of dirt on the carpet that I missed when I vacuumed yesterday. So I jump out, bang, there's that dot, and I stick that landing. Once we've done that, now we're gonna go into our continuous skater jump. Here we go. So, what this is gonna look like, now we're gonna maybe get the heart rate up a little bit, but we're also gonna really test our balance. So here, we're actually gonna go side to side. So this is a progression on this movement I talked about. If you did the strength and, condition with, strength and conditioning with me in the, in the previous phase, you know what I mean by building up to this, because it's really important that we get the first part of this right. So, here we go. So we're gonna push out, and just be pushing off continuously side to side. Almost like, if you've seen it, like an ice skater. Okay, and I'll go from behind. See how my leg, see how my leg swings behind. That's the movement we want to sort of encourage as we push off to change directions. And, and we're going to have to, that stuff's going to apply to defensive sliding and stuff in the future as well. So we're going for six continuous jumps. Okay, so three on each leg, but we're doing it continuous. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and the beauty of this is you get the practice really exploding off the ground. Okay, so you want to you want to land, but not waste too much time in pressing back out. Good. All right, if you've done those, if you haven't done those, go now. If you've done those, grab a quick drink. Good. Good. S says, good job, guys. Grab a quick drink, have a seat, have a rest. We've got, we've got some skipping to finish off. We don't need a skipping rope. I don't have a skipping rope. I'm in my lounge room, so, but we can still do this exercise. I'll show you how. So, we can do this one of two ways. I like to mix it up a little bit. We're gonna do three sets of skipping to finish off. Skipping, really good exercise for our mobility and, and strength for our ankles and for our feet. The other thing too, guys, is with this get up and go session, um, I'm, I'm always gonna do it in here, in, in my lounge room. You can do this in bare feet if you need to. Like I've got my shoes on, I see a lot of you got your shoes on, that's great. But there's actually some benefits to doing this stuff in bare feet as well. Um, for, for foot arch strength, um, it, it just puts us back in there. That sort of primal condition to strengthen the muscles of our feet and our ankles a little bit more um, without that support from our shoes. So it can be good sometimes, as long as you don't have like Achilles tendinopathy or any issues in your ankles or feet, it can be okay to do this stuff in bare feet every now and then. We spend so much of our lives in shoes, it's good to sometimes get them off and exercise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three sets of skipping. All right, we're gonna go for 60 seconds each. So it's gonna be a little bit of huff and puff to finish the session, but still focusing on speed and uh, and uh, our power movement. So what it's gonna look like, you can do this one of two ways, all right? I've got my uh, longer resistance band here, and I'm just gonna put this down as like a line. If you wanna make this a little bit more basketball specific in the second or third set, okay, you can. The first set, I just want everyone just up, straight up and down, okay? Not like a squat jump, we're just really quickly, like almost like pogo jump. So almost like you imagine we're skipping, okay? We're not bending our knees too much. We're not coming down too low. We've just got a soft bend in our hips and our knees. And we're just gonna skip on the spot, just pogoing off using the strength of our ankles and our calves. And we're gonna do that for, 30, uh, for 60 seconds, all right? That's gonna be our first set. Let's get through that and then I'll show you the options for our second and third set. So here we go, we're gonna go in five, four, Everybody up, three, two, one. Here we go, 60 seconds of skipping. Here we go, so bouncing on your toes, on the balls of your feet. Good job, we're strengthening those muscles of our feet and ankles. Again, our hands are just here by our side. We're not needing to swing them. We're not really going for height here, maximum height. We're just going for a 
as little impact on the ground as possible. Okay. Good job. 30 seconds down, okay? We're getting the heart rate up a little bit here. Getting the body moving, getting the blood flowing. This is good stuff in the morning. Keep working. That's 45 seconds, we've got 15 to go. Again, less ground time. Building on that rate of force development, loading up. Good job, guys. See everyone bouncing up and down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Awesome. So we've got two more sets. You can mix it up now so we can go a little bit different. So I've got my uh, little resistance band here as a bit of a line. You guys could use your mini band, whatever you like, really. Just not something that's too high. Don't use your foam roller or a drink bottle just yet. You could use an actual skipping rope if you want and put it down as a line. If you prefer to make this movement a little bit more lateral, side to side, we can go over the line. Okay, so you've all done line hops. Okay, we can go over and back like so. So we're just building that little bit of lateral movement into that second set, or just stick with what we were just doing. Just straight up and down fine as well. Or if you don't have a, a band or a rope, just imagine that there's one there. And just go to the side to side, shifting your feet underneath your hips. All right, second set, here we go in three, two, one. I'm going over my band, here we go. Everyone up, let's get into it for 60 seconds. Our second last set. Oh, you can hear my oh, heart rate's getting up there. You can probably hear my breathing in the headphones a bit, I apologize. So again, we're trying to reduce that amount of time that we spend on the ground. So really bounce off the court. That rate of force development, really important skill to have in basketball, but it's important that we're able to do it safely and that we practice it in sessions like this. There we go. Nice soft landing side to side, both feet, same time. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, grab a rest. We've got one set to go. We should have our heart rate up now a bit. Oh, mine's certainly up. Fitness level, I'll tell you what. Excellent, guys. So, with this last one, because we do have some 16s, 18s in this group, if you guys want a little extra challenge, um, younger kids, I'm fine. If you want to give it a go, please do. We can do single leg, okay? Now it's a little bit more intense because we've done skipping before on one leg, okay? Especially after two other sets, my, my Achilles and uh, my calves are already burning. But if you want to do single leg for 30 seconds, like the right leg 30, left leg 30, um, I'll let you know at 30 seconds when to switch. Okay, but I'm just going to go straight up and down again, okay? Um, I'm just going to bounce up. Straight up and down like little pogo hops as if I was just skipping, but I'll give you guys little examples in between of, of single leg hopping, okay? Here we go in three, two, one. Here we go, last 60 seconds. If you want to go side to side, that's fine as well. If you want to go single leg, it's like so. So we've just got that knee bent, sort of soft knee drive, almost like we're doing a layup. And we're going to bounce. I'll let you guys know at 30 seconds when we can swap. So we're on single leg. I'm on my right leg at the moment. We're 20 seconds down. Keep working. Whichever hop you're doing, just keep moving. Three, two, one. Swap legs. If you're doing single leg, keep going. If you're doing both legs, that's 30 seconds. We're halfway through. Finish it off. We're still skipping here. So we want quick movement. We want quick movement. Imagine like you've got that rope. It's whipping around there. I'm on my left leg now, so if you're doing single leg, you should have swapped. So 15, here we go. Keep working. Oh, oh, here we go. Three, two, 
one. Awesome, guys. Excellent job. Okay. That's the end of our, our actual exercise for this session. Oh, thank you for joining me this morning. I'm going to give you a couple of quick stretches, really quick stretches that you can go away and do. So we need to make sure we're stretching out our ankles and our Achilles. Someone's got their microphone on. If, if you've got to go, if you've got to go to school or you've got to get ready, go for it. No hard feelings. Thanks for joining us. Remember the other sessions we've got. Uh, we are strength and again Thursday, which is a sort of a strength-based session. We've got tonight, we've got a, a webinar with a dietitian with Jody Prendergast. Tomorrow night class is in session with, uh, with Andrew Harms, NBL1 coach, NBL1 men's coach, going through some offensive concepts. And then we've got our hoop fit session as well on uh, Wednesday, which will be a, a really good session with Catherine. So really quickly, if you've got a wall, you can do your standard calf stretch against the wall like so. So pushing the wall over, five seconds on each side. If you'd prefer to use the foam roller on the ground, I like to do this one, where I'm just putting my knee towards the foam roller. So I'm in like a lunge position. I'm down in like a bit of a lunge position. But, but, but I'm bringing that knee over my toe and I'm, I'm keeping that heel flat on the ground. So see my right heel here stays down. I'm bringing my knee to my foam roller, five seconds on either leg, just to make sure we get a fair bit of jumping. Make sure we're stretching out, just gently stretching out those Achilles and calf muscles. Five seconds on either leg should be fine for a warm down. You've got, you guys can do a foam roll after the session as well. So I might just do a quick quad as well, so everyone hop up. Just quickly grab our foot. And just gently, again, side on. We're just bringing that heel to our bum, keeping that hip locked in. Okay, I don't want to see you bending over like this. Stand up nice and straight. Just a gentle one, shake it out. Other leg, nice gentle one. Stretch it out in the morning. And then last one to finish off, a bit of a glute stretch. So you can do this down on the ground or you can do it standing. I call it cradle walk but I like to grab just below my knee and just above my ankle or my sock. Okay, so don't grab below your foot. Put one hand up above your knee. Ava, I can see you there. You've got both hands together. That's it. And then pull up there. And so we should feel that stretch on the glute. Another way you can do that is to just rest your ankle on your other knee and like bend over like so. Okay, five seconds on either leg. Or you can do this one lying down. Just, you know, pretzel stretch. You put that that ankle, so my right ankle's on my left knee. I'm going to reach my hand through and grab my left knee and sort of rock back and forth just to feel the stretch in that glute a little bit. Because we did give the glutes a fair, fair workout as well. So again, I'm pretzeling now on the left side. So I've got my left ankle on top of my right knee on my right quad. And I'm just rocking gently back and forth, holding that stretch where I feel any tension. But you can do that one standing as well. Whew. Great job, foam rolling. So with our Thursday session with me, uh, building better athletes, we will go through the strength portion of this exercise. So again, for you guys, if you're if you're interested in finding the actual session plan for this session, it's on our website um, under strength and conditioning under the Franks and Blues drop down, okay? Um, really good sessions on there, uh, available for you guys to do at home, and some pictures and stuff to show you guys the exercises as well if you wanna do it in your own time. Otherwise, we'll always do, we'll work through each week of a speedy power session on a Monday morning. We so get up and go, literally get up. We're gonna do a lot of jumping and sprint techniques and power work, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And Thursdays, we'll do a bit more of the strength stuff, so our squats and push-ups and planks and stuff like that. So. I hope you enjoyed this morning's session, guys. I really appreciate you guys joining me. It's great to see so many of you here again. Um, as always, stay, stay healthy, stay positive, okay? Stay connected with one another, uh, teammates, everyone at school, really important, okay? Your parents have my details if, you, if you've got any questions or if you wanna reach out to me for any more information, I'm always available. Um, if not, hopefully I'll see you guys at some of the uh, other Blues from Home sessions across the week. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Thank you.
Hey, Jared. Hey, Jared. Have a great day. You want to thank Charlie? You want to go out? Peace. Peace.